Welcome back to All The Mods 9. There were a couple things that I did with the scripts in here that I totally forgot to change. Um, I did do that off camera though. I just had to add the sides here you know, for the chemical tank and the trash can. What I'm, I think I'm gonna try this little rework here. If I do this, uh, so it's, it's not gonna be as readable doing it this way, but that is fine. As long as my explanation was understandable, I don't mind if it's not as readable. So that should work and these should still continue to go because we took the input yep they're still going that's good perfect perfect all right and uh i'll just edit this one separately because i think they're the same also what i could do as well is uh only have one of these and then just toss it into here but if i what i mean is i could have one of these and connect these inventory cables up and have this one thing do the logic for this chemical tank and this this one back here but what that would end up potentially doing is sending slurry from one of these into those ones uh i could also add extra variables i could do chemical tank one chemical tank two and then do it that way which actually that doesn't sound like a bad idea because then i only have one to manage and then i just build inventory cables that does not sound too bad actually now that i think about it so let's do this and we're going to do we're going to do some reworking we'll say chem tank chem chem tan 1k chem tank one then we're going to take input from chem tank two i think it's the top side for this one top side and then crystallizer one whoops but that means we also have to add an extra line of if state uh an extra line for if statements here because we want to separate we're gonna have to separate out um each of these chemical tanks is logic let's go through this is turning into a dev stream we can just leave trash can we only need one one trash can and i don't know if i don't put a number does that work i don't even know what the hell go away this is a damn pop-up. I hope the recorder didn't have to look at that garbage. So this one would be chem tank 2, and this would be chem tank 2. Or crystallizer 2, chem tank 2. And then it's going to do... Uh, I can remove the input here and also remove the input from here as well. All right, so this would be... We're taking slurry from chem tank 1 and chem tank 2. If chem tank 1 has that much slurry, I'll put the slurry to the crystallizer 1. North side, else, I'll put to this if else can you do functions in here i do wonder that'd be neat because i could just tell it to go to function and then i could only then i would just have one else here is go to a variable or something you can do probably not okay so let's do this and this is going to say crystallizer one and two aren't a thing and these are gonna well why are these so full i do wonder output for output reasons why are you so full what the hell how'd that happen um what oh whoops push pulled labels so let's unname whoops how do i how do i unlabel those what the hell how do i unlabel these from crystallizer oh like that duh wait how though that's not a very oh i have all of the different types of variables that we've had oh okay so we'll unlabel that this is going to be the trash can this is chem tank one then we can do crystallizer one these are crystallizer two. This is chem tank two. All right. And then you come out of there. And then we need to hook up these. And then push. Oh, I pulled. Whoops. Crystallizer two. Okay. Push the labels. Flurry, chem tank one, chem tank two. Uh, is assigned in the world, but no, it's not. Where is it assigned? I don't see nothing that says that's assigned. Oh, is it on this one? Where's that assigned? Because I just see chem tank one, two, one, two. Yeah, what do you mean? Okay, also let's check the examples for limits. You mother, dang it. Oh, I hate when you click done. It just overwrites everything. Uh, time to redo it all. It's not that difficult. It's just going to be annoying. Uh, this might have been a problem, too, that I needed to worry about. But I don't know. All right, so now we have one, two, one, one. All right, yeah, one, two, and then we have one and one, and then one, and then two, and two, and two. All right. I'm going to also copy this over to my notepad because that was annoying. Uh, oh, I guess I don't need this. I mean, this will catch it. 
Like with these, it'll... Well, no, it won't because... Okay, so what we have to do is we have to do this first. We have to take that away and then down here, down here we have to do the input because the slurry it has here, uh, this I believe... But when we do input here, this is the only slurry it can output if this um, fails to come out as true. Then after this thing is done and it's over, then we need to input the slurry from this one and then this one will output. Then that's the only input it um, can see from slurry. I hope that makes sense. But that should work now. All right, now how do we, ah, here we go, uh, prune, here we go, now we'll push, there we go, nine blocks, one block, one block, one block, okay, it's all good now, all connected, sweet, now we can, uh, remove this, this part here, and this is all good to go, hell yeah, hell yeah, and what I could actually do as well is move this trash can from here, because it looks kind of wonky, I'm gonna do that, and we'll put the trash can at the end here, like that, but that means also we have to do uh, this. What the hell? Oh, it's because there's no block there. Yep, weird. Okay, now you're the trash can, and now push the labels. There we go, we're all good now. Sweet, okay. Sweet, hell yeah. Hell yeah, can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. Okay, we're good here, sweet. So Brian, 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 Brian. We definitely are going to need to make more of these, so let's just do that, you know? <laughs> let's just do that. Uh, we'll just build out this way, and we'll uh, we'll continue to make more. We need more cut deep slate columns. These are going to be annoying to get. I think I need cooked deep slate. Do I have co regular cooked deep slate? I have 71 of these. That's good, of the cut deep slate already. But I think we're going to need more. So we have cobbled, and what is deep slate dust used for again? Oh, you have to pack it, and uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Let's just grab some here and... What the hell happened to you? Bro, I don't know what the hell happened. Damn, son. You just all of a sudden, you were like, no, this is who I am now. I don't think that's how that works, Mr. Cluggington. Okay, let's throw this stuff away. Now, we need to grab the regular deep slate out of here. Oh, there's more cut deep slate in there. Nice. Where's the regular stuff? Okay, so here, go into here. Now we need this. Yeah, that should be enough. This should be enough. I sure hope it is. Uh, let's turn this on. So we're going to build out to, uh, I guess, here. Are you empty now? Yeah, I can just break you. Okay, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, we'll break that. Now we can do this. So if we place that, then it shouldn't build the rest. Yeah, there we go. Oh, but I don't need that under part as well. So I'll just break that. Break it off. And then I'm going to go out. I'm all out. Dang it. Well, we'll leave it like this for now. And now I need to go into the map. Damn, I can't remember my keybinds. Claim chunks. I need to claim this and load it. All right. Ooh, whoops. Whoopsies. These are all loaded over there. That's good. This stuff's all loaded too. Is there anything that isn't loaded? Uh, This area right here is not loaded. Interesting. I don't know what that was that's over there. Though the bees! The bees weren't loaded. Some of the bees weren't loaded. Oh, that would explain some things. What's over here? Oh, that's the house. That is the house indeed. And this was the farm and some, the bees, like most of the bee stuff wasn't loaded. That is not good. Let's load this part too. All right. Now we can work on these things here. How tall are you? So you're by 18, right? And that's 10, 1, 2. Okay, yeah, I was right. 12. So 12 times 18 is, uh, that's 180 and then that's plus 36. So 206, I'm going to need 206 thermal evaporation blocks for each of these. Well, not exactly. Cause I also need those things as well. Uh, but we do need kitchen sinks. So let's make a few of these and I'll probably, oh, damn it. I'm just going to do this. Get water buckets. All right. Oh, I'm out of buckets. I should tell it how to make kitchen sinks. Okay, so I'm going to make six of these um, for how we're... I don't know if we're going to build that many of these evaporation plants, but I definitely plan to build a lot of them. Uh, for this, let's look up thermal so we can just do bam. We're out of steel. Dang it. We are completely out of steel. Is that it? We are. Why are we out of steel? Come on, man. Shit. Uh, for the steel, I actually probably want to make another one of these infusing factories. 
So the crafter has, because the crafter has both of these, we'd want to make another, yeah, we're going to want to make another infusing factory for this to speed it up. And we'll make a, this one. Oh, you know what we can also do while we're here? We can improve this one. Bam. All right. And then we'll do that. And then we'll do bam. And the config should be correct, right? We have the power there. So let's do a cable there. And we need a crafter. Make me an iron crafter. Oh, this is so nice. Look, oh, it's so beautiful. Okay. Oh, I should probably make the, the wrench. Somebody told me that there was a refined storage wrench. Ah, here it is. Wrench. Yeah, so when I place the crafter wrong, I can just boop, boop, boop. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for that. That's awesome. I'm really glad to see that. Okay, this is an exporter for enriched carbon. All right, so let's grab an exporter then. Exporter there. Enriched carbon. Do that. What do you have on there? Speed upgrade? Okay, we'll put one on here too then. All right, now let's take this pattern out of there. Chuck it into here. And I think you have... An importer on the back, right? Yeah, you do. Uh, we'll just make an elite importer like that. And you have that auto sort on, auto eject on outputs. And take input, input. Oh, no. Got to take extra. There we go. So now you can do what that pattern's doing. So now when we do steel, uh, craftables, let's make that many. And this should handle this part. Yes. There we go. How are you? Speed, you're good. You're just mad slow. Okay, let's do this and this. You're gonna be slow though. We need upgrades for you, boy. Let's just make 64 of those and 64 of these. Let's make some of these upgrades too, shall we? We need some alloy. We have, wait a minute. Why isn't mechanism stuff being stored right now? Hello? It has to be this ultra interface thing, man. That's so annoying. Okay, well, it's working now at least. That was wacky, man upgrades let's grab these and these and we will chuck them onto here like that and that now you should be good to go you're going to, whoops whoops okay so that's working uh, i want to upgrade all of these how many is that one two three four five six so we need six of these okay bing bong bing bong bing bong all right let's make the next level uh where is it i don't have it on the list so i'm just gonna undo these ones then so i can do beam 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 you i don't like that sound i don't like the sound of that thing bing bonk bonk boop 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 are you all upgraded all the way you are let's check just in case we missed one all right you're all good and you're all upgraded so you're working much faster and now we do the ultimate upgrade and we need eight of these so we can do all the other machines too and then we go, bam, bam. Yeah. All right, sweet. And these are going to start cooking up dope in the crock pot. And you finished, you're finishing off the residual stuff. Wait a minute. Why are you? Oh, oh, I see. Oh, we don't have. Yeah, I'm, ma I'm making, uh, I'm making patterns for that. We make so many speed upgrades. We absolutely need to. We'll just do a pattern for this. And we also need to, I guess, do a pattern for this as well. I don't think we had sugar as a pattern. And then we'll also do a pattern for this one. So we'll have those three in there. And I'm going to go down here and make sure that we keep those things. So I'm going to get rid of you. I'm going to say speeds. Give me 64 of those. And stack upgrades. We'll just do 16. There we go. Now give me this and give me this. Yeah. Can we do a stack upgrade on the crafter? No. Okay. Well, we're just going to do beads then. Because I want you guys to work faster. So we'll just chuck all of these on here. I think we can also upgrade the crafters. But I think we have to pick them up. Uh, extra. Let's look up extra storage. See if they have something for the crafters. I don't see one. So I'd have to pick up every crafter then. Well, that's very annoying. Can I use another crafter on the crafter? Let's check that, shall we? Let's craft this. Gotta cook some stuff first. Can I... Can I? No. Ding it. But what I can do is sort. Oh, whoops. Sort my inventory. Oh, we need more space. Well, we'll chuck those things away. So let's make some uh, more crafters, which I might as well do. I can do gold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll do seven of those. There we go. And we'll start with this one. 
it's super simple. I'm going to turn off magnet in here. Take that out. Do this, that, and that. Man, we really need another enriching uh, factory, which we might put right here. I'll replace the other crafters first. Whoops. Boom. That's the only thing for you. Okay. So I'm going to take half of these patterns, those three, and we'll leave those four. Make another crafter, a gold one. Let's make a enrichment chamber. Let's upgrade this. Mm, yeah, we might as well just upgrade it here instead of making the upgrade modules. Okay, so do that. This, chuck these in, grab these upgrades. Where'd the other ones go? There they are. So we'll do that and that. Auto on, auto eject, input. Output out of the back. You don't have any power. That's fine. We can grab a cable. Do that. You get your speeds. Make an elite importer. All right. That's good. Now that's a little bit less of a bottleneck for us. So that's good. Uh, what importer do we have on here? Okay, we have that one. Let's put a stack upgrade on this one too. All right. Sweet. Well, that's a bit of an upgrade here. We really need to build out more of this stuff, but we, we're not really using the lab that much at the moment. Are you guys still running strong? Slowly getting wither predictions. How many stars do we have? Whoa, what the hell? There we go. I was confused. Yeah, how many nether stars? We only have 15,000. Shoot, we need way more than that. Um, We'll get to that at some point. Well, at least we improved this stuff. Okay, and that was only because I ran out of steel and I was like, you know what? I'm tired of running out of steel. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just how it be sometimes, you know, this can be disconnected from here. Oh, no, it can't because this over here needs it. Eh. Let's grab some cables and let's run it under. Whoops. All right. So this is connected, right? Yep, it's connected. So now we can just go through here and. Okay, and these should still be going as long as they're still getting brine. Yep, okay, it's still good. Sweet. How's this doing over here? Oh, we did mess it up, I guess. Because these are getting osmium as well. Hmm, why is that messed up? I need my label gun. Crystallizer 2. Uh, oh, there might be something that I need to tell. Uh, it might be with the input. Let me copy this again, just in case. Yep, because I did make changes. Okay, so let's view examples for forget. Oh, forget. Ah, oh shit. Well, good thing I have my code because I do that every gosh darn time. Okay, so we have to do forget here. So we don't have to say forget the variable, but I'm going to tell it to forget chemical or chem tank one. So we know uh, removes the inputs or tank one for the specified variable and we'll also do it down here for chem tank two or whenever we expand it there we go so now this should start taking gold yeah it is and why is this one so full uh it's interesting this is wrong this needs to be it's west side for the trash can so the trash can needs to be west west there we go all right oh whoops i'm gonna take all this again do this. All right, all right. Let's go. That's good. All right, it's working. That's brilliant. I don't know why you're so full. Um, are you running very slowly? Oh, you. Oh, you're. Yeah. Hold on a minute. Just one second. No, oh, you guys are. Uh, hmm. I do wonder. Anyway, we need to make some more brine factory so we can pump that ore factory up and make it run more smoothly. Let's check some quests. Wow, we got the ultimate trash can. Cool. Let's uh, do some thermo for these thermal evaporation blocks. Let's just make a dick ton of them. Oh, we're going to get even more. Oh, whoops, I made copper thingies. Oh, well, uh, we need to make, make four of the controllers. I don't know how many exactly we're going to do yet. So that's going to be 12 valves then with four controllers. Let's just grab all of these. So we have this set up in the like two block two blocks separated. So let's go and do this. So four. Oh man, here they come, all of them. Those things are damn annoying. I hate them so much. 
Okay. Hey. Leave me alone. Uh, let's grab our wand here. We'll put the controllers on the front like that. That means valve here, valve here, valve here, and valve, valve, valve. Hey! Screw off. Gosh, these things. They really piss me off. Yeah, I really want to get the brine sorted so we can pump that thing up, and then we can also add more to it uh, as, we, as we want to. I'd like to not have any bottlenecks anywhere, because I also know we're going to need brine for some other things too. So it would be good to have no problems at all. When it comes to brine, I like to have excess stuff. Okay, so these are all the way grown up. They grow up so fast. So let's uh, make a couple of these. Oh, whoopsies, they're gonna be different. How much are we? How much heat are we using for these? Five k. I don't even think we need that much, but I'll do it just to to keep it the same. Okay, now we need to. Oh my goodness. These things, man. And I can't go to sleep because I believe it's the blood moon. Yeah, it's the blood moon. Yeah, that is so annoying. Okay, I need the thermodynamic. Thermodynamic. So, oh, I got a present. Neat. Do that and do that. Oh, because you don't have water hooked up. You're like freaking out. Is that so? Is it going to blow up now? I bet it's going to blow up. My sinks. I need the other ones. Mechanical. They're mechanical pipes. They should all be called the same damn thing. Tube, pipe, they should all be the same. Why is it never end? Let's do that and that. Oh, whoops. Wrong, wrong one. Oh, damn it. Why do I... Oh, I'm silly, man. I'm struggling right now. Why am I struggling so much? So do that. Let's go over here. Do this and that. All right. And why are you struggling? Hmm. Oh, because this thing needs... Power. Duh. We need a flux point. And we'll just turn power surge on so it'll fix. All right, it's stabled now. That's good. These things are full of brine. Oh, whoops. I'm kind of silly. Uh, well, if I... Mm, yeah. Uh, yep, I want to have the pipes running through the middle, so... Give me this. Whoopsies. I plead oopsie daisies yet again. So... I'm going to put this here, that there, that and that, and we'll get these, uh, instead of the fluid pipe, we'll use the mechanical pipes so we don't have to do any upgrades. So then we can also just come all the way over to here. We'll break that. We'll break it off. If I just tell this to go, will these go into it? No. Okay, well, so I need to tell these to output. All right, so those are outputting, and then I also need to tell you to output. Are you getting a bunch of brine? Are all of you pushing? How fast do you push? Pump rate, 32,000 millibuckets a tick. Oh, okay, we're we're chilling. We are absolutely chilling with that. So you're slowly going up. Are you... Yep, you're producing 1080. You guys are outputting properly. And are you producing 1080 as well? Okay. So that's good. Is this enough now to increase our speeds over here? Because this one's at full blast. Are you at full blast? Is this enough? Let us see. Go. Oh, whoops. It is Witchin. Witchin's the one that we need. Oh, it's you. Yeah, no. Oh, this one's already full blast. This one. So check the brine over here. Make sure we're still net positive. Oh, we're maybe positive. It looks like we're good now. And that's with two rows. Um, okay. Heck yes. Yeah, baby. That's what I like to see. Let's go. All right. So these things are kicking. That's, uh, this is 20k power per tick. I'm, I believe I could lower those resi resistive heaters more, but I don't believe I need to. Uh, or I don't think I will. I'm just gonna leave them. Just gonna leave them be. Well, you're being wacky. Well, as long as you're outputting at max, then I don't care. All right, sweet. So that's working. That's working at maximum velocity. How are you over here? Doing good. Are you... You're pumped down. Can we bring you back up to speed? Keep you full? How's our brine now? If we keep climbing, then we're good. Looks like we're good there. 
but I think we're good only because this isn't using as much as it can. Yeah, because this is also down. So we'll raise this too, so that goes faster. And then you're already maxed out. We can probably put another speed in here now. Hmm, maybe. Uh, yeah. uh, you guys are all full. Our fissile fuel's not full yet though. We maxed out here. How's this one? We're lower here. Okay, this is fine. We're producing. We're producing quite a bit, and we haven't even improved this much. Which I think I would like to do. I want to get our power going even more. I know there's more power options we can go for, but I kind of want to stick with this just because it looks neat. <laughs> so I think I want to do that. Ah, and the fix for this, right? The energy trash can. I noticed that I was definitely doing something wrong, and I want to thank you guys again for correcting me. Uh, it needs to be on the input network, right? And the reason this needs to be on the input network, I completely understood why immediately. Because um, this is the one that's inputting power into here, right? If there's nowhere else to input power, meaning this is full, the priority, which also we need to change this to priority zero, uh, so it's the most prioritized. The reason we need to have it on input is because if this is full, completely full, right? We need somewhere to dump that energy. And that's why we put a point on the trash can here because we have a plug right here right pulling all of the power that means we need to grab a point and tell this lower the priority here and then put it on input so if we run out of power then it will start outputting into here instead of outputting into any power storage that we have and we're just going to do bypass limit on this so no matter we're just going to name this uh power dump this is going to be power dump here. We bypass the limit here. I'm just going to up this because I don't know if this also affects it. But now whenever this is full, instead of using this flux point, it will use this one. So yeah, that's cool because it will have nowhere to put the power from here. It's going to say, hey, well, I can't output there. And then it'll just output into this one uh, because there's nowhere for it to put the power. So that's pretty neat. Now, thank you guys again. That was really awesome. And we have bypass limit on this one too. So that's good. Um, we also need to do priority zero for this. So it's the most prioritized that we have. All right, all right. We're up to 137 billion power stored. It's absolutely insane. We also need to bypass the limit on this. Uh, so just so it pulls everything out. Okay, so if I want to increase this size, which I do, I need to build... I'm also going to need to increase the size of the fission reactor here. Um, actually, maybe not. Maybe I just need to increase the turbine. Yeah, the because it's limited. It's limited um oh it has yeah max production is 3.56 with how much steam it's getting i'm guessing oh no well never mind we need to we need to raise how much steam is in here first that means we need to turn this off and make this bigger oh we are filling up on the nuclear waste here actually interesting i know i need to put this somewhere i think i need oh yeah look at that we have some full barrels here whoops whoopsies I'm just going to make more. I'm just going to keep dumping the, the barrels or the, the stuff into the barrels for now. I know later I'm going to need nuclear waste, but for now, I'm just going to continue to do this. Actually, let me check my chunk orders. Yeah, we're already in the new chunk anyway, so let's just do that. Okay, we need pressurized tubes. Uh, I'm going to need more of these. Okay, now we have more, and then we can do that, 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 and that. Hopefully this means the rest will decay. I sure hope that's what that means. It looks like they're decaying. Well, it's because these ones are filling up that they're decaying. Interesting. Well, shoot, we have a bunch of nuclear waste. <laughs> are we going to need more waste barrels? Okay, before we upgrade, actually, we might want to look into getting the uh, plutonium and stuff. Yeah, the plutonium and the polonium. So we need to pump it into... And we need fluorite again in a pressurized reaction chamber with plutonium and water. But how do you get plutonium? Ah, nuclear waste into an isotropic centrifuge. Okay, so let's make another one of these then. And let's chuck these away. I need space again. That's how you get the plutonium, right? How do you get the polonium? Polonium is in a solar neutron activator. What in the world? I've never built that. Oh, I need HDPE, which I need HDPE pellets for, which I need to cook ethylene and oxygen with substrate. Ooh, well, it's a good thing that I have a bunch of those substrates. It looks like I'm gonna need it. 
Yeah, because I just have them being outputted. So, oh, actually, I'm just going to make another one of these because we need to make two uh, reaction chambers. Do that and do this. So we're going to need to set up another system over here. This is our mechanism area, man. Holy moly. Concrete. Well, I wasn't expecting to do this, um, but that's the joy of the modded Minecraft, man. You just you just start doing. So let's build this out. All right, that's as far as I can go. We got another duck. Hey, what's up, Howard the Duck from that old comedy movie that was very weird looking way back in the day. Uh, I need white. Why is there so much emphasis on the H? I need this. Oh, I don't have enough of that. So let's take that out and then just tell it to make the white concrete. Hey, quit using all of the stone essence. I need the white concrete. Oh, I knew I was going to do that. I had a feeling. How much do we have left? Oh, okay, we can't do it anymore. All right. We'll just come this way with that. Okay. So we have more space now. Let's uh, work on this system here. So we're going to have to do probably two lines of machines here. So let's do... Where is it at? I thought I made it. Did I not make it yet? Oh, that's right, because I need the HDPE sheets with the HDPE pellets. Okay, so that means I should probably go over here because this has the substrate in there and this also has ethylene and we can pipe the ethylene out into our other machine. So let's do that. That means we're probably going to end up running out of ethylene, which we might just take one of these generators off and I'll just put it right here because uh, we don't need this as much anymore. But I do need that ethylene, so... We need a pressurized reaction chamber. We are going to remove this. Whoopsies. That's getting power from elsewhere, right? Yeah, okay. So we can do that. And now we can take your breath away. This and do that. There we go. That's going to output power to there. Now this, we are going to need power. So let's go ahead and drop that on there. Because we're going to need, I believe it was oxygen that we needed for the polonium. Was it polonium? I don't know. It was the plutonium, right? Oh, no, it was for the this the HDPE pellets. We need oxygen. Yep. Okay, so oxygen, which means I need a sink, which I have a sink. Yeah, so we'll put a sink there. Oh, goodness gracious. And then um, we will get a... It's not chemical infuser. It's a... I'm trying to remember the name. <laughs> I don't want to have to look it up. Oh, damn it. Screw it. I can't remember. Uh, what is it? It's a separator? Electrolytic? Is that what it is? Yes. I, of course, I remember right when I start heading over there. All right. Let me turn off chunk borders. Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay. Electrolytic, which I also need to put a uh, pattern in for this as well. Let's do this. Oh, sweet. This already has... Uh, oh, we need to make this idle in this dump. So, we need to do a... Damn it, why do I always... There they are. These are always... They always elude my eyeballs. So we'll do that. And we'll tell this to take input of fluids. Yep, that has input. Not enough room and output. Okay. And now we need to... That's two, right? Yep. You son of a gun. Can you guys leave me alone? Can I go to sleep even though it's almost daytime? Or is it almost nighttime? I don't know. Yeah, it's almost, it was a uh, sunrise. Go, baby duck. Damn it. We have ethylene. Is ethylene? Ethylene. Oxygen. Oh, I need liquid ethylene, not ethylene. Okay, so we need to add a uh, condensator, I think. I think this is what we need. Oh, am I starting to, I'm, am I starting to know what machines do without needing to mess with them? Oh, baby. Let's break this. I think we are going to need this. And yep, it should make liquid ethylene, okay? Now, we can do the next part. Which I want to stay in the chunk. Put a cheeky little cable here. Then have the reaction chamber here. Um, and fluids, it's going to take input. Gases, it's going to take input. And you're going to output out of your face. Out of your freaking face. You should go into there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we did it. We saved the city. So now we can do the transport tube and we will do it. Oh, this is going to be awkward. Um, I'll just do it up top like that. And then we'll just disconnect this and we will output here like 
that and then this will be full of that and now it needs oxygen as long as i have one side free i don't care where it goes from and then you are going to do output two and you my friend are going to take input which for some reason you are not pressurized reaction chamber oxygen you know substrate oxygen liquid ethylene and yeah oxygen what the hell what are you doing gases auto eject on yep oxygen is there you for some reason are being a butt oh oh dude i freaking hate uh i hate mechanisms sometimes it's because freaking hydrogen got into the damn pipe because when I was changing the config, it went so damn fast. I really need to start checking that first. Okay, now we're going to start being able to store stuff and things. Um, I need the upgrades so I can upgrade this system. Then I'll also need to... Ooh, this is going to be damn compact if I do it this way. Mm, how large are you? I need to see how large this is. Can I fit? Okay, I need to add this to the network. And I'm going to move this system. So we're going to add you and then do that. There we go. And we're going to pick this whole system up here, unfortunately. Well, we can store the liquid, actually. We'll we'll keep the, the liquid here where... We'll keep the condensentrator here, like that. But we're going to need to move this because we're going to need more space. So we'll go ahead and grab all of this stuff here. Do we have another electrolytic? I want to make sure we don't. No, we don't. Okay. So I'll grab this, 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 and these... So we should see substrate. There we go. Yep, we have substrate now. That's good. Okie dokie. All right. Gosh, my inventory. <laughs> oh, no. So this is going to slowly work. We're going to check that in and the speeds in as well. We want this to go as fast as it can. Do we have network over here? We do not. And I don't feel like moving the network over here. So I'm going to get, what is this called? I'm going to get another fluid drawer. And we're going to connect it up to the network. So we're going to get a fluid drawer. And we're going to drop this right here. Can you output into that? Ooh, you can. Very nice. Okay, now we just need to do upgrade. I need diamond upgrades. There we go. So this can store a shit ton now. That's a technical term, by the way. So we'll lock this and then we'll add it to the network as well. So now we have this getting stored. So that's really good. You are working as fast as you can, aren't you, bud? Can these keep up with you? No, they can't. Hmm. Okay, well, it's time to remove these. Say goodbye. We need all of the ethylene. Yep, we need all the ethylene. It doesn't, so... I sure hope you guys can keep up. It looks like they are? No, definitely not. It is... Oh, holy moly. We don't have enough to do with what we're doing with how much we're storing. Holy cow. Oh, this moves like hella fast. Whoops. Uses a ton of power. Wish I could do gas upgrades on those. What about these? Nope. And how's everything else? Are you guys chilling? No. Hmm. Oh, maybe this is why? That is not why. But it should help. Then we'll remove this and that. Yep, our poor, our poor pressurized reaction chambers just can't keep up. Well, let's add another upgrade to this thing too then, shall we? Since we're storing it in our system. Might as well. Let's just keep storing it. Jesus, 453 million! Oh my god. Let's take this out and upgrade it. <laughs> I want more. Yeah, 679 million. That's what I'm talking about. How are our melons? We are, we are shilling, I think. I wish it would tell me, like, flow. Like, how much per second is being used or some shit. That'd be cool. Uh, okay, well, we'll deal with we'll deal with the uh, liquid ethylene later. But I did need the liquid ethylene so we could do this over here. And I'm really glad I was able to put that in our network. That's really cool. That also does mean that I need to grab a bucket from it. Which I probably honestly just want to make a... Is there a grid that does all of them? Wireless universal grid. If I do this, then can I use all of them? Oh, whoops. Wrong thing. Gosh, this is annoying. <laughs> ah. Nope. We're, we're patterning this 
I don't care. Give me that. This is mine. Okay, if this is universal now, can I see fluid? Um, grind. What? It says it's universal. Is there a control for it? Network not found. What? Oh, does it work now? Ah, uh, ha 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 ha. Fluid grid. Yeah, baby, let's go. And then take this out. Can I put this in here? We'll unbind that. Now we're going to do the universal grid. Yeah. Bam. I love this. This is so good. Okay, so now I can... Can I grab a bucket from here, though? I need buckets. Bucket. Let's craft some. Now, can I go to the... Yes, there we go. Okay. That's the only reason I wanted it. Just for that. Chicken. Damn it. All right, well, we have the liquid, <laughs> liquid ethylene now. God. <laughs> okay, all right. We did that. We did that thing. We did the thing and stuff. Uh, we need to do that whole process we were doing over there. So start here. Gonna have to be layered. This is gonna have to be a layered mess, which I probably want to, you know, we'll just put the sink by radioactive waste. What's the worst that could happen? Probably a lot, but I'm just gonna ignore that. We'll put this here and we're gonna grab a mechanical pipe, a pipe, do this. And now we need energy for these. So, Let's just drop a point down here onto the output network. All right, so this has power now. That's good. And then we need to have this go to the, I believe it's this one. Um, I need to think, I need to think, gotta do a thonk. Yeah, it's this one. So we'll do this, do that and grab, we need cable. Gas, output to. This should have nothing. Now we do idle, dumping excess for Y. Oh, the my own fault. That's why. Okay, so that's going in. Now we need the liquid ethylene to be input. So we have cables. We have exporters. That's good. We're going to just do an exporter on the top. Yeah, we'll do it on the top. And we're going to run some cable over. Or probably under. Probably under. Probably under. And we'll do a small tunnel. There we go. We have some more room down here. I actually want more room, so goodbye. So we need to get to cable that's right here. There it is. You, friend, are going to come with me. Whoops, that was would have been very bad. Oh my gosh, the step height's ruining my life. Literally ruining my life. All right. This wasn't what I was expecting to do today either, but that's okay. This is progress, baby. That's what this is. That's what this is. We're going to come up. Oh, I don't want it to be there. I want it to be up one more, and then we'll come over. Get me some spice on that mug. Okay, fluids, and we're going to do liquid ethylene. And this should take fluid out of the top. Slowly. <laughs> Slowly, of course. Uh, oh, I should have some speeds on me, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, that and that. And then we can make a better exporter. I don't know if we need a mega one, but let's go to the next level. And then the next level, and we'll just do an ultra exporter. This, do that, fluids, and that. Yeah, okay, now we have HDPE pellets. Do we need those for anything else? Um, only, okay, so we only need it for that all right so enrichment chamber then <laughs> okay so then we'll i guess we'll spread this out again we'll just blow it up so it's easier to see things and items should output right here that's gonna get sorted there i'm actually gonna take all of these out and then chuck them back in so they're all on the same pace again because i don't like to deal with them not being it okay out of power that is fine we have a solution for that it is called ultimate cables Boom. oh man look at this thing ah you also need substrate huh rip i didn't think about that uh we can just do a regular exporter on this one we do this and then we can put a stack upgrade on it 
We don't need that many, Jesus. Uh, do a stack upgrade and then substrate into here. And then we just need to tell this to take input from the back. Here we go. Oh, this thing is, this poor guy is struggling. Now we'll have HDPE sheets. Uh, we need to import those into our network. Importer. We'll get an elite one going like so. And then we will put a stack upgrade on this bad boy. Now we'll tell it to output out the back. There we go. Now we can make this thing finally. <laughs> we can make this. Whatever this is. So this was for the plutonium, I think, right? Or no, what was it for? Polonium? Am I being silly? What did what were you used for? Ah, to turn nuclear waste into polonium. Yep, so so it turns the nuclear waste into polonium, which then needs a pressurized reaction chamber with water. Okay, and that. So we're gonna need a, more water to come through. Hmm. You can put that there. And uh, come over here. Let me through. Let me do that. Let me down here. I need to... Oh, come on, you punk. Let me down there. Quit step heighten, you son of a bitch. I'm going to get rid of those boots. These freaking boots are annoying. Do this. And make it all look all pretty. That's not going to look that pretty because we're going to have a freaking kitchen sink right here. Have it right here. And the reason we're going to have it there so we can run water through the middle to reach the, the necessary machines. Oh, whoops. I can just do... This now, I can just remove this. Yeah, this will be more better. Let me do that. Okay, so that's gonna go. Um, and now you look ugly too, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave that. So this is gonna need a pressurized reaction chamber right here. And this is gonna need mechanical pipes and off, off, oh, whoops. Yeah, you need to stay on and you output. Yeah. Beam, you got water, bro. Wait. Oh, you have all that. Damn it. Oh, wow. That's the first time I got substrate in my inventory. Nice, I guess. <laughs> Gotta get that ethylene out of there. Goodbye, ethylene. Okay, so we have water in here now. This thing needs power. So, I think it's here. Yep. It needs good old power going in now. So, we're gonna do that. Give it some power. Now, we need to give it the polonium, and that's going to be, I'm assuming it's going to need a pressurized tube. I'm assuming that's what that's going to be. We'll turn eject on, uh, input and output, and this is going to need to take input from the pressurized stuff here, like that. Oh, do I have to actually do it from the front? I don't think so. Please don't kill me please don't kill me or release radiation hmm I wonder why it's not going in here is it because it's getting outputted everywhere else maybe maybe we need to output from a barrel can we even do that hmm am I doing this right because you need to take yeah nuclear waste you take nuclear waste but you don't there's not enough for you to take maybe Hmm. Maybe we need to put it closer to the source. The solar neutron activator would take polonium, which is radioactive. And then we need fluorite dust, which we can put fluorite into a crusher to get the fluorite dust. So then we would also need to add a crusher to the system to output into this. Yeah, we're going to have to add a crusher. And where do I want to add that? It's probably here. And I'll put a point on it. For electricity purposes. Do output on this. And I'm going to automatically upgrade this all of the way. Like that. Oh shoot, we already have an exporter on that. So you're in luck, Mr. Point. You get to you get to have a new home. But it's only right here. Okay, so there. And now we need to put an exporter on this. So we can get the stuff and things ready. Exporter, wait a minute. All the fluorites over here. 
Well, not all of it, but a lot of it. That's okay. So we have fluorite there. And we're going to take fluorite. Oh, fluorite. That's what it is. Just going to take one of these. Export that. We're just going to chuck a stack upgrade on here. So it just chucks the whole stack in. And this will go. You are upgraded all the way. And now you need to output that into here. And you need to take input. But for some reason, you're not gonna. Oh, do you output? There we go. All right, that's getting outputted. And for some reason, this isn't working. Um, there we go. And what I can do now is this. So it'll go in here, but also go into those, maybe? Is that how that'll work? No, it doesn't look like it. It stopped going into there immediately. Mmm, shoot. Hmm. Disconnect that. So this keeps filling up. And then maybe what I'll do is just try to run it back. Place this one. Are you working? No, because it's not daytime. Okay, but at least you're full. And this should also still be emptying its waste tank. I hope this works like priority wise and it's like, oh, this is closer. Let me just go into here. I hope that's how that works. I'd also just need to do that too, to tell it to push fluids into it. We will see. We will see what happens here. But all of these are getting filled up on the back side now. That is good. That is good. All right. I mean, we're also going to have to have another. Hmm. I wonder if I can do this. And if I do that. Oh, did it suck? It sucked all of it out. Damn it. Now none of, none of it's going in. Shoot. Fill up, boy. Come on now. All right, whatever. I'm just going to reconnect it. I'll deal with uh, the priority and stuff later at a later point. But this has some in it. It just needs to be daytime and then it should start hopefully converting that stuff. Now I need to think of what to do after that. So plutonium yeah, I need to go into plutonium. Yep, that's, oh, that's for that one. So we're going to get polonium here. Yeah, this is going to output polonium and spent nuclear waste. Ooh, spent nuclear waste, huh? And that's still radioactive. Well, damn. <laughs> More radioactive stuff and things. And I thought I was just going to be getting rid of radiation. They said, no, you ain't going to do that. That's not how this works. And I said, well, shit. This is exactly what I said, because uh, I just said it. Well, shit. Spent nuclear waste. Mm -hmm. Damn it. More waste. I don't like that. All right, this is set up to output that nu spent nuclear waste. I hope that works. Did this do anything? Well, now we also need to tell this to output the items. I don't know if it can import from the face, but we will see. This is going to look so damn ugly. I am not happy about this. Yeah, where'd all that nuclear waste go? Hmm. Did it get output into one of these? Not the nuclear waste, but I'm thinking like maybe the polonium did. Whoa, one of these barrels is completely full. Damn. I'm going to have a field day trying to get this shit to work how I want it to. It's going to really bug me. It should push into there, but it is not doing that. I wonder if this will work. <laughs> Gating the speed. Nope, it didn't work. Why don't you like me? Why don't you want to do what I want to do? What if I take this and put it over here? Okay, now it's taking some. Uh-oh, that would be a mistake. I'm not doing shapeless. Nope. I'm just going to mine it by hand. So this is getting some of that, which is good. Now I can do this. Will you output out of the back? Okay, you will. Nice. Okay. So that worked. Neuron activator. Let's get another one, I guess. 
And we will tell it to take input and then output. We'll take input and then we're gonna have it output out of the back. There we go. Yeah, now we have polonium pellets. Sweet! I know we're gonna need this from some, for some stuff. But I don't plan on making that mecha suit, so... Oh well. Oh, the fusion reactor. We need it for the fusion reactor too, that's good. Okay, sweet. Oh, we can we, then we can make that mecha tool thing as well. Star Forge. We need it. Oh, to make a creative. Oh, that's how you get a polonium. Oh, that's from Greg Tech, though. Damn! Late game stuff, baby. I hope these are both working. Doesn't look like it. Only looks like one's working. Why are you working, man? Do your do your own thing. Why is this one doing everything for you, huh? Why are you doing anything? You goober. You freaking goober. Okay, well that's taking, that's making polonium. This is you know, cooking up dope in the crock pot. All right. Now the next step is the plutonium, which is more simple. Looks like, yeah, centrifuge, nuclear waste. Um, if I break this with nuclear waste, it's probably gonna really ruin me. So let's uh, do that. I want a different chemical here. So I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna Disconnect that, disconnect that, and disconnect that. Okay, this is disconnected. Break this, it has nothing in it. Now we need the centrifuge. This is going to take the nuclear waste. So it needs to take no input from there. Now we just need to turn this back on. Like that. That's going to make plutonium. Oh, this needs energy though. Which means we need a flux point, because I don't have anything else with energy here. And that means we need more of these. Interesting. Okay. Can I just put this on top? Will you take energy from the top? No, you won't. Why are you being a punk? Will you take energy from the side? Yes, you will. Good. That is what I like to see. Okay, so this is outputting plutonium. Is this taking anything? Yeah, it's... I think it's slowly outputting. No, it's not doing anything now. Hmm, why not? Is it because the centrifuge is taking everything and you're just being silly? Why does this one so annoying? Uh-oh. Yeah, I can't do what I was going to do. That would cause a lot of problems. So let's just, let's just do that. And we'll just leave it there. Um, see, now this one's taking all the nuclear waste. That doesn't make any damn sense. This is quite a confusing conundrum. Okay, so when you fill up, is this going to take it then? Okay, there we go. All right, that's fine. We can deal with that. Now we need to set up the stuff for the plutonium, which is just the pressurized reaction chamber. Mm, and we can set that up right here. And then we need to move this. This is not getting put into here. Oh, plutonium's getting put into here. Or polonium. How the hell? Wait a minute. Why is polonium in those? Huh? What in the world? I am... I am confused as to why polonium is in these. What? That makes no damn sense. All these cables have nuclear waste. What's... I am confusion. I don't want to blow stuff up. That's my problem here. I don't want to blow things up. But why did these get... Oh! Does the spent nuclear waste... Huh? Spent nuclear waste... Yeah, it, that's, it only outputs spent nuclear waste, so I don't understand what the hell happened to these. If I break these, or is it going to cause radiation? Yes. Oh, no. Damn it. I'm irradiated. Need the... Mechanism thing. Oh wait, is it because one's also in my inventory? No. Hmm. How do I... Oh no! Howard died from the radiation! What the hell? How long am I going to take damage for? Do I have something in my inventory that's irradiated? How do I clear radiation? <laughs> I don't know. I think I have to make the mecha suit, don't I, if I want to 
but I don't plan on making that mecha suit, so... God damn, poor Howard. How do you deal with this? I need to check. Okay, I guess I just have to make the uh, suit because I don't want to metagame it and uh, I don't want to metagame it and then like remove the radiation. I'd rather just live with my mistake. So I'm going to do that. Yeah, my exposure. I don't know how to get rid of my own exposure though. Mechanism, suit. So we need the mech suit, helmet, and we need one of these because I need to deal with my mistake. Um, I'm just going to get regular diamond stuff and oh, whoops, wrong spot and do this. Okay. Now we need netherites. I'm going to come over here, check these in, check those in, do this and this. Now we can make the helmet. Why aren't these getting crafted? How do I install this? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, maybe a modification station. Maybe this is what I need. Shoot, man. I keep taking damage. Okay, this thing's gonna need, uh... It's gonna need power, so we'll go ahead and give it power then. Ah, here we go. We found it. Take power, bud. Okay, we need to make the next set. All right, let's do this and this and we'll put this one here and we'll do that one. I don't know if this is going to work, but good Lord. How do I see how much radiation I have? Cause it's not showing me <laughs> the player transmitter can't keep up. All right. Well now my suit can fill up, but I'm still taking a shit ton of damage. And I don't know why. Do I have something in here that's irradiated? Uh, so I forgot to begin recording again, but I figured out how much radiation I had because I figured out how to turn on the interface. Um, and the, yep, the, so the only way, and for some reason I'm still invisible and I don't know why. Um, but anyway, the only way that I could get rid of the radiation was to die because it was going to take three hours and 35 minutes until the radiation wore off. So I just decided to die. Well, before we end everything off, let's go ahead and try to get this plutonium working. Uh, after dying, I was able to come over here. And unfortunately, I am invisible. Um, I believe that's only due to shaders. So if we turn off shaders, you'll see that I'm here. Uh, maybe we'll leave shaders off and we'll just stay in uh, first person. Okay, so plutonium needs a pressurized reaction chamber so what we need to do is move this and hope this doesn't fill up too much and then also disconnect this and break these so we need water to go into here but we also need to output see this is tough how do i do this properly well for starters i think i break this off here we do this we're gonna have to go down because this thing will need power um but we can just make another point and put it under it so we'll do this we need our pressurized reaction chamber so let's go ahead and make one we need that and now we can make it there we go um we'll put the point here place this here and you need to not be on that you're going to need to go down below. You need to go there. Like that. There we go. So now it's wrapping around and it's also going to take from this one too. Let's go ahead and set up this config here. So gases are going to output. This is going to input. We're taking input from everywhere else. That's good. So let's grab the point here and change it to output. Okay. Let's type the water in. So we need the mechanical pipes. So let's grab the mechanical pipes, pipe the water in, and now we need to pipe in the plutonium. Boom. Now this thing is getting plutonium. And what else do you need? You also need the uh, 
fluorite. So we can just grab a trans, uh, or, yep, transport cable, and we can do the same thing here off of that one. And do that, and it'll take it in. Then it should output its nuclear waste over to here. Hmm. But now we also need to take output from this bad boy. We're out of sides. <laughs> we have nowhere to take output from. Uh, I could do universal pipes on this and then have it take output. We do that. Or I have a better idea. I think. No, it's not a better idea. But it is something. We need a way to get the plutonium pellets out of here, though. I am out of side locations because of this. The best thing might just be to move it over by one. And then disconnect this. Disconnect this. Oh, this has plutonium in it, so go ahead, reconnect. Whoops. Yep, go ahead, dump it out, and then I'll take this. All right. Now, finish... Are you not going to finish the plutonium? We need more plutonium, huh? Dang it. Well, shoot. I need to move this machine. More radiation? Let's check the Geiger counter just in case I increase the radiation. Six hours. Yep, we increased it. Okay. Oh, well. Now we need to do this. And do this. Seven hours and 55 minutes. Oh. Yeah, it's super bad right here. <laughs> oh no! We are the irradiated peoples. So this, have this come here. Now we need another mechanical pipe. Oh man, who knew I would cause so much trouble? I should have. I should have known I would cause trouble. I know who I am. I'm a dude playing the dude disguised as another dude. That's who I'm. That's who I'm ams. This is so damn ugly. Oh my gosh, I hate this so much. <laughs> I wanted to have it all together though, and that's why the radiation started coming out. Just because of me wanting to have every damn thing in the same location. Okay, you're set to import, and you need to allow output. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was so... This is so painful. Well, you know what? That's fine, because... We... We have it done, and it's gonna take... Seven hours for all of this radiation to go away. How far is the radiation? Yeah, this whole area is irradiated now. <laughs> no, man. I didn't want to deal with that. Oh, I could just look at the bottom right. Damn it. Oh, man. Shoot. Okay, well, do I just AFK and let the radiation go down? I don't know. You guys let me know. You guys let me know if I just AFK to remove it, or if I remove it, or if I just need to keep it. You guys let me know what you think. I will let you all decide. But anyway, we made our polonium and our plutonium. Let's take a look at them. The mechanism P. Look at that. Plutonium and polonium. We have both of them. We did both of the things today. And we irradiated our world. And I had to die. Because if I didn't, I would have had to just take, take damage for six hours. So, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I got to experience what it's like to make a radiation leak. So that was cool. <laughs> I was forced to let myself die because I took in too much radiation. But anyway, yeah, you know, we're going to learn from it. It is what it is. That's just what happened. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Rest in peace, Howard. He was the best guard duck I could have ever asked for. And it's unfortunate that his time ended. Thanks for looking at my invisible character. Here it is. I hope you're all doing well. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.